Hey there, it's Tara Milo here, and I've been here in Lisbon for about five weeks, maybe six weeks, and I've noticed that my world is very quiet. I don't really have anyone to talk to because I don't speak the language yet, and even though most people speak the language, I'm a little bit hesitant <clears throat> speaking up and, you know, asking for things. Um, I... I kind of just talk to people and they, they talk back, but so when I'm on the bus or on the metro or something, that's when my world feels really quiet. Even though there's a lot of noise and a lot of conversation going on, I don't know what any of it is. And it's such an interesting phenomenon to be surrounded by conversation and not be part of it at all because you can't understand it. And I think that when I start my lessons, which I'm going to start um, like next week, I think I'm going to pick up the language pretty quickly because I've been so immersed in it and my brain is kind of absorbing all of that and, and really taking it in. Even though I don't know what it all means, it's all going to start clicking when I start um, taking the, the classes. And it's an intensive course. But anyway, this... Um, this silence, this quiet time allows me and kind of forces me to just be in my own head and think my own thoughts and really listen to the voice in my head and really be present with myself. And it's kind of cool. And I can't say that there's been like this amazing aha moment. I think those moments came before I came here. Um, but it is cool how I, I get to just sit and be at peace with myself and kind of explore my thoughts and and just just be there in that space. And I haven't had this experience anywhere else. Um, a couple of years ago, I did a silent retreat. It was like a, a meditation and Qigong retreat. And for two days, we weren't allowed to talk at all. And... I was going through a lot of stuff then and the voices in my head were so loud and just critical and just really overwhelming and at this point in my life they're not. Um, I can sit with my thoughts and be perfectly happy with that. So it's just an interesting thing that has been happening that I thought I would share with you. Um, I don't know if you have had an experience like this or if you give yourself that quiet time to really focus on yourself. And it's a little more than meditation because for me it's 24 seven. Um, but like, how can you give yourself that time to just reflect and be within yourself? And what happens when you go there? Do you feel better about yourself and your life? Or do you feel like things aren't the way you want them to be and it's time for a change or a shift? Um, I think that's why this is not a miserable experience for me because I have made the transition that I wanted to make, that I was led to make for myself. So um, that's why it's been a very peaceful process for me. But curious to see what that would feel like for you um, to be able to be quiet with your thoughts for a long period of time, longer than a 10 minute meditation, um, day in and day out, or whatever it is for you. What goes on in your brain when you have that quiet time to yourself? And is that happiness or is it stressful and kind of bringing up some things that you want to deal with? So please reflect on that. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I am going to start learning the language very soon. So I'll have another video about language and this whole like internal conflict that I have around the language. Um, another video about that coming soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon. Bye.